if I can reproduce that error. So here we are. I'm going um, to move my notebook to the trash and make a fresh clean notebook and let's try it and see if I get that error. Now I think if it's the error I remember you can just skip that step and keep going but I would like to fix it if I can. It seems to come and go. Now notice by the way you can execute normal command line Linux commands in Google Colab by putting an exclamation point before it. So you can now w get some content from my website and such. I went and made a smaller subset of the data and put it on my website. I didn't create this data but I just chose to make it smaller to make the calculation faster. So this is going to download some CAPTCHA images from some very simple CAPTCHA and then we're going to see some of these images. I think this one will show it to us. Yeah, this will show us a couple of the images. So it's up here downloading the data then unzipping it. That's what this does, download it and unzip it. And then here you are. You get to see. So these, Im these CAPTCHA images are just letters that have been tilted over and printed in different fonts. So it's pretty uh, pretty simple. And so we can reduce the images to 20 by 20 grayscale and save the labels to mark the correct one for each one just to get them ready to process, which you can see is kind of a bunch of work, but we got to do that. So let's take care of that. All right, and while it's preparing the images for training, um, now we're, this is where we're going to create a model. So we're going to have a first layer which takes in the data um, 20 by 20 and then we're going to have um, a hidden layer with 500 nodes and an output layer with 32 nodes because there are 32 possible letters and digits in this data. So it's similar to the one that was sorting uh, clothing items into 10 categories before. Except we're sorting it into 32 categories here. So, uh, let's see if now someplace around here, I hope there's that error message you're reporting that we might see. Is it here? Ah, here. Module not responding. No module named Keras Layers Convolutional. Oh dear. That seems pretty serious, and that's not one I've seen before. So let me see if I can find a solution for that one. If you're using TensorFlow version 2.10, try this. Ah, well, all right. I wonder, uh, that's interesting. All right, this suggests that something has changed its name. So Keras Layers Convolutional. Um, let's find the Keras documentation, which is here. Um, Keras Layers I agree, there's no longer anything called Keras Layers Convolutional. Uh, I suggest they renamed it. So uh, let's see if we have a, let's get a recent uh, Keras Layers Convolutional. I may not be able to solve this so fast. Here's the convolutional layer. Um, wait a minute now. From Keras layers convolutional, import conv2d. We want conv2d and match pooling. And I saw those. Conv2d was here. So I think we just don't need the convolutional there. Conv2d and um, Max pooling 2D. I think that's here. Yep, so I think we just need to get rid of the word convolutional. Let's try that. I think it's just in layers now. Let's see if this works. And no module named Keras Layers Core. Okay, it looks like they've we got to find flatten and dense. Let's find where flatten and dense is. 
Here's flatten. And here's dense. So I think it's the same thing. It looks like Keras has removed some of these subdivisions. And we don't need core or convolutional here. They're just all in Keras layers. Let's try that. Ah, I think that's it. Okay, it looks like they updated the thing and changed it, so I'm going to make a note of this. Um, this is in ML102. All right, I'll have to update it. Looks like they've changed the naming system. Let's see if it works now. And it looks like it did work. Let me compare this to my example. Uh, I want to put my example over here so I can compare it. Okay, so here's what we have. And what I expected to see was um, this, and then training. And we're supposed to end up with 93% accuracy, 92%. Um, OK, that's not bad. When I did it, it made it to 92.5%. Oh, I think it might. it's not still running. OK. Anyway, I went to Epoch 7 of 7. And um, accuracy is here. OK. It looks like it, this is good enough to go on. It doesn't look like exactly what I found before, but there may be some randomness. So I think, anyway, I think that's the problem. And I'll put that in there. All right, so let's keep going. I think we're on the road here. So now, all right, and you can just, um, now there are some things to change here. You can have 100 hidden nodes instead of 500 and see how well it works. And that's all you have to do. So this one, uh, I'll put in that fix. That seems to be the problem. You got 96.3. Yeah, I think there's some randomness. So I think it's OK if it's not always the same. That's why I made the flag something that will not change, just the total number of parameters, because the actual performance has some randomness in it. OK, well, that's what I wanted to show you. And I'm glad you told me I'll fix that, that problem. Let me stop this.